What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the knife and the tomahawk that we got in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The game dropped last week. I've been playing it not as much as some of you guys, but I have been playing it quite a bit lately to try to unlock the tomahawk, and I finally did that at level 42. So in this video, I'm going to go through my loadout, and I'll show you my controller setup as well that I use for this game and for all oh, actually all the call of duties for knifing uh, so i'll hop into that in a minute here if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button you can catch me streaming on youtube and on twitch twitch.tv slash jimmy knives and i also invite you guys to join my discord server where you can uh connect with me and my community so let's hop into the loadout and i'll show you guys what i use at the moment all right so this is my loadout at the moment uh, any primary weapon you can select as a gun. There's no, there's no uh, melee weapons, no riot shield or anything in this game. Unfortunately, for those of you that love the riot shield, I don't think we're going to be getting it. And then, of course, the secondary is our knife. So this is in the melee section here. Go into it, go into the gunsmith, and we can check out the different camos. So we got different sprays, stripes, classics, geometric, flora science psychedelic and of course the mastery and i'll just show you what the gold looks like there that's the gold the diamond and the dark matter ultra so the gold i don't have unlocked as of yet i just need three more levels here and i'll have the gold knife so i'll do a separate video on that one coming up and one tip I have for you guys, if you're going for the flora, which is seems to be the hardest for most people, but if you use slide canceling instead of just sliding, uh, it's a lot easier to get this unlocked. So you have to get 50 kills while sliding. Slide canceling works a lot better. But then you won't slide past the person when you're trying to knife them. So that's just a little tip there. Another cool uh, camo section here is the zombie section. So if you like knifing and zombies or you want to get camos or the knife and zombies these are all them here this is the mastery section i'll just show you what these look like so that's the golden viper the plague diamond which looks awesome uh, and then the dark ether which looks sick i would love to get this but i i just don't think i'll ever get there uh but that is the zombies camos there now let's head over to the rest of the class here so right now i'm using flashbangs they work okay uh, smoke grenade actually works the best. I was just messing around with flashbangs. That's why it's still uh, equipped. Uh, but smoke grenades, believe it or not, they work the best because if you've been playing this game for any amount of time so far, you know, stun grenades suck. Stim shots, you know, stim shot, stim, stim shot. Again, smoke grenade, the best so far. Flashbangs aren't bad. They're better than stuns, but smoke grenades are the best. And we'll get over to the Tomahawk. So I unlocked this recently. Level 42. Takes a really long time to level up if you're just a melee only player. You don't shoot bullets like I do. It took me a while to get the Tomahawk. And uh, honestly, I could only handle a couple hours of this game at a time. So that's why it took me so long. And But we got it. And I'll show you what it looks like in game here in a minute. I'll hop into some free for all or some other games here. For the field upgrade, field mic is probably... You know, you're only the only thing <laughs> for an, if you're knifing only the field mic is the best, you know, a listening device that highlights enemy sounds on your mini map. That's going to be the best. And if you have a certain uh, perks and stuff unlocked or equipped, you can actually have two. So right now I use the tactical mask. Uh, if you're using flashes and stuns, you, ha you have to put on the tactical mask. Otherwise, you'll flash and stun yourself all the time. I don't know why, but you do. It's just the way this game is. The blast radius on those things is so strange. I have tactical mask on all the time. Also, flak jacket's another good one if you uh, are finding yourself getting molotov or crossbowed a lot. And once I have forward intel unlocked, I'm going to try that as well for a different loadout. Perk number two right now, I use assassin. I'll probably just keep that on scavenger as far as i know you can't replenish tomahawks or anything so i just use assassin assassin is an enemies that appear on your mini map when shooting or revealed by a spy plane will have a crosshair indicator instead of a red dot 
if they are on a kill streak so if they're on the map and they got across you know they're on a kill streak uh, receive extra score for taking them down uh, i'll probably keep that on as well going forward and the perk that i use right now is ninja uh, you can have ninja and ghost equipped if you have a certain card unlocked there uh, but right now ninja is the best ghost ghost is obviously good too if they've there's because spy planes are everywhere in this game but right now i use ninja because i want two tomahawks so that's why i don't have ninja and ghost on right now now with the wild cards danger close equip extra lethal so that's the extra tomahawk so you're going to be either picking danger close or greed if you want ghost or if you want ninja at the same time you'll use perk greed if you want two tomahawks you'll use danger close so that's my loadout section there that's what i'm using at the moment until I have a few more things unlocked. Now, if we go to the settings, I'll show you what my controller setup is. So obviously the input device is controller, sensitivity is 10. If you're just knifing, I was using, I was all the way up at 14, the highest for knifing. But then once I got the Tomahawk, I, I put it back down to 10 because aiming on uh, highest sensitivity is kind of hard for me. Uh, the biggest thing here is the button layout. So the default button layout is what you see here on the screen. And I actually use tactical layout. Most of the time you keep your hands on the sticks when you use tactical layout because you actually slide instead of melee with the right stick. So when you're pushing down on the right stick, you actually slide instead of melee. And then I use my right triggers as the melee. So that's just a little tip I have for you guys there. That is it for the loadout and for the controller. I'm gonna hop into some games here to show you guys what the knife and everything looks like in the game if you're interested. I know I'm a little late on the game here, but I wanted to wait till I had the tomahawk unlocked to make an actual video. So here it is guys, I'll hop into some games. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I have a next video going up and when I live stream. Live streaming, uh, twitch.tv slash Jimmy Knives, and join my Discord server to link up with me and my community. All right, guys, let's get into it. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Guy has no. You need to fucking get laid. Da -da -da! I stabbed you first. Fucker needs to get laid. Literally. Look at this. Eid. Lady Wolf. Get the fuck. Oh my god. Give me that time, bitch. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. <laughs> They're asking for the mustache. You have armor available. Hostiles spy plane established overhead. Stab, stab, stab. Multiple hostile spy planes detected. Wow, dude, get a fucking life. Get the fuck out of here. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. Da -da -da.
stab, stab, stab. Fuck out of here, you fucking bitch. Why am I fucking stabbing? <laughs>